Welcome in everybody to the University of St. Francis Bishop Darcy Stadium for today's Crossroads League matchup between your University of St. Francis Cougars and the Mount Vernon Nazarene Cougars. USF aims to break scoring drought while MVNU shoots for a third Crossroads League win. Third place Mount Vernon Naz is the challenge today for your Cougars. MVNU is 2-1 in Crossroads League action after a 2-0 loss at home to Indiana Wesleyan on Saturday, halting a three-match win streak. Tim Kasparik leads MVNU goal scoring with seven. He's fourth in Crossroads League statistics. Tito Cuellar is six in CL goal scoring with six. USF sophomore keeper Braden Kahn leads the Crossroads League in save and is ranked number 21 in NEIA with 63 saves. Leading point scorer for St. Francis is Tito Cuellar with six goals and four assists, 16 points. Right behind him is Mikey McClellan, nine points with three goals and three assists. And Colin Barker with six points. He has two goals and two assists. Your leaders for St. Francis. Leading Mount Vernon Naz is Tim Kasparik with 15 points. He has seven goals on the season, one assist. He ranks number four in the Crossroads League, averaging... 0.58 goals per match. Connor Davis has 12 points with four goals and four assists. And Breno Nascimento has three goals, three assists, nine points. Gerardo Rivas has nine points with four goals and one assist. We're going to send it to our PA announcer for the starting lineups in National Anthem. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Bishop Darcy Stadium for today's Crossroads League soccer match between the Mount Vernon Nazarene University Cougars and your University of St. Francis Cougars. We will introduce today's starting lineup, first of all, for the visitors, Mount Vernon Nazarene. And I'd better get their sheet here so I can do this properly. Okay, in goal for the Cougars from Ohio, number one, Adam Miller. Also starting for the Cougars, number four, Gerardo Rivas. Number five, Samuel Dimas. Number six, Matt Ralden. Number seven, Brayon Nascimento. Number eight, Hunter Petrosky. Number nine, Connor Davis. Number 22, Tim Kasparik. Number 14, Brock Bishop. Number 17, Rodrigo Baruna. Number 19, Aaron Russell. Head coach of the Cougars, Zach Gansberg. And now for your University of St. Francis Cougars. Starting in goal, number double zero, Braden Kahn. At a forward, number two, Sam Schlegel. At a forward, number five, Nick Kasia. At a forward, number six, Lucas Trocasas. At a forward, number seven, Tito Cuellar. At a midfielder, number eight, Ethan Vigario. A defender, number 14, Julian Colantonio. A defender, number 18, Nate Conder. A defender, number 19, Carson Neer. At midfielder, number 20, Nadeo Foster. And at midfield, number 30, Mikey McClellan. Head coach of your Cougars, Mitch Ellison, assisted by Paco Castillo. Now for a prayer, followed by our national anthem. Let us pray, loving Lord, we thank you for all you have given us, the gift of this day, these athletes, coaches, officials, and fans. Keep us all safe today, free from harm and injury. Help us to love and respect each other and ourselves. And in the words of St. Francis, enlighten the darkness of our minds and hearts. 
give us a right faith, a firm hope, and a perfect charity, so that we may always and in all things act according to your holy will. Amen. Now please remove your hats as we play the national anthem. Let's play soccer. Good luck, gentlemen. And there we have it, folks, just moments away from kickoff here at Bishop Darcy Stadium. 45 minutes up on the clock. Looking at the Crossroads League standings. Spring Arbor University is in first place. They're 10 and two overall, three and zero in conference play. They are ranked number 19 in the country. In second place is Grace College. They are five, two and four, two, zero and one in the Crossroads League. Folks, my name's Jeff Mahoney. I'm gonna be running the camera for you. Now I'll try to call out some players throughout the match. In third place is MVNU, seven and five overall, two and one. Huntington University in fourth place, five, two and four, one, zero and two in conference play. Goshen College sitting at eight, three and one. They are one, one and one in conference play. On the ball in the center is Sam Schlegel. Sam is a junior forward at six foot three, and Tito Cuellar. This ball is going to be kicked forward. Four defenders for Mount Vernon Naz. MVNU led by number 22, Tim Kasparic. Seven goals on the season. Cougar offense. As that ball is cleared by the center back. Ooh. Foul going to be called on number eight. That is Hunter Petrosky. Really liking those Mount Vernon Naz uniforms with those big numbers on the back. Very easy to read. Appreciate that. Not so much on the other side. It's Mikey McClellan picking that ball out of the air. Ball's going to be played back to the keeper, Adam Miller. Adam's a senior goalkeeper. Staying involved with his defensive back line. 
Nice one touch. So that's going to be cleared by Khan, the sophomore keeper for St. Francis. 6-2 out of Slino, Ohio. Big clear. That's Schlegel in the area for St. Francis. Offside going to be called on MVNU. That was number 22 in the area. Tim Kasperic. He normally wears number 11. He's wearing 22 today. Gerardo Rivas is wearing number four. He normally wears number two. McClellan. Nice feed just out in front of the midfielder for St. Francis. Down on the pitch is number six, Matt Rolden. Raining all day here in Fort Wayne, Indiana. Northeast corner of the state. About a 20 minute drive to Ohio. At 25 minutes maybe from St. Francis. About 45 to 50 minutes to Michigan. Up north. Schlegel. Flicks it towards the box. That'll be taken by Miller, the keeper. Michael McClellan in the area for St. Francis. Good poke there by Schlegel. I believe it's by Gario also down there for St. Francis. Do apologize, but we have small numbers and they are white on white. So next to impossible to see from up here. Pagario. Nice feed. That was broken up by the center back for St. Francis. And out to touch to MVNU. Goal kick coming up for Khan. Excuse me, it's a throw in for the Cougars. Cross coming up. So that was good defense being played down there. See if we can grab a number. I believe that is, that's number eight, Vicario. Cuellar back to McClellan in the corner. Nice poke, but it's gonna roll through the end line. Fast surface here, the artificial pitch. Mikey was trying to get it into space so he could get some separation for the cross. Michael number two on the team in points scored for St. Francis. He has nine on the season with three goals and three assists. He's a good one for coach Mitch Elson.
Shot over the crossbar. Heavy right foot there, I believe that was number 22, Tim Kasper. Goal kick coming up for Khan. Good header attempt by Tito Cuellar. Just going right of the goal. Khan keeps going to that back corner there. Cougars trying to get something going up the right side of the pitch. Left foot across. That was cleared by the Cougs. out to touch to MVNU. Pass. Quayar trying to pick up the deflection. With the throw in there is number 18, Nate Condor. Be out to touch St. Francis. The 
Cleland looking for the give and go. That was number five for St. Francis, Nick Kasia. See down there, McClellan very, very fast on the ball. Keeper Khan once again goes wide right. Number seven for MVNU. Nice save there by Khan, cleared by the Kooks. Free kick there is Matt Roldan, sophomore. Kasparic has it taken from behind by Cuellar. Cuellar looking for Schlegel in the center of the pitch. Intercepted. Nice save by Khan. Big shot there by number nine for MVNU. Connor Davis. Ooh, big collision for the Cougs. It's number 20. Nadeo Foster. Played back to Khan. Defense by Mount Vernon Nass, the Ohio Cougars.
Mikey McClellan on the ball. Game seems like it's more exciting when McClellan has it. Same with Cuellar, and Cuellar is going to get this free kick here. And they're going to go wide right. And out to touch. talk today about the United States losing the qualifier, not making it to the World Cup. First time since ooh, 1986, I believe. That doesn't sound right. I think 1986 was amateur basketball. Either way, everybody's very disappointed. We need new players, new coach, a lot of speculation. Talk of travel ball being too expensive. So it alienates a lot of our society. Also the talk of all the professionals here in the United States leaving the United States to play overseas because the money's better. A lot of chatter going on right now regarding that situation. That'll be out to touch the MVNU. Good play down there by a defenseman. Is that Nadeo Foster? Sure is. Number 20, Nadeo Foster. Great sliding tackle there for number 19, I do believe. Be out of touch. Number 19, Carson Near. All those goal kicks have been going out wide to Carson top right corner 
Cook's trying to get something going on the right side of the pitch. Schlegel in the area for St. Francis. About one on three for Schlegel. And being you had it, blanket it. Leads the Crossroads League and saves. He's also nationally ranked. Out to touch by Mikey. Khan ranks number 23 in NEIA with 63 saves. Ranks number one in the Crossroads League, averaging 5.3 saves per match. Good ball. As that will be a corner kick. That was number 19 for MVNU. Aaron Russell, the senior defenseman, 5'10", 155 from Gove, Groveport, Ohio. They got a free kick coming up. It'll be number six, Matt Roldane. Rolden. Header taken by Khan. Great play there by Khan. That header was intended for number four for MBNU. Khan's got that big body, he knows how to use it. Shield away from the Ohio Cougars. Lego with the throw in for St. Francis. Be out to touch the Cougars. Oh, 
clock's going to stop here at 17 15. Nil nil is your score. Number 22, Tim Kasperic, up for MVNU. Cuellar's talking with the ref. The Dale Foster for St. Francis in the area, along with number 10, Juan Bukaram. Cuellar says they want to give him a yellow. Mikey McClellan's in the area ex explaining his case. Here comes Bukaram. Yellow card goes to Tito Cuellar. Oh, they call that on Buka. So yellow is going to go on number 10, Juan Bukaram. <laughs> On the ball for MVNU is number four, Gerardo Rivas. Gerardo with nine points on the season, four goals, one assist. Okay, so they're going to give that yellow card to number 20, which is Nadeo Foster, the junior from Fort Wayne, Indiana, Northrop High School. Checking into the match for St. Francis will be 23, Tyler Laborde, and number 13 for MVNU, Brandon Mount. Nice bender, but Khan punches it out. Good play by Khan. It's put back towards the box. Braden Khan for the Cougars. Your six foot two inch keeper, only a sophomore. Outstanding keeper from Salina, Ohio. Ranks number 21 in the country with 63 saves entering today's match. Ranks number one in the Crossroads League. Averaging over five saves per match. Nice chest. Mikey's looking for the cross as he reverses the field. Tito Cuellar tracking it down. Cougar's going left to right on the pitch, that's for sure. Cuellar with the chest. Feet in the box, headed away. Ooh. That was number 22, Kasperic for MVNU. For the Cougs, it is number... What is that number? Eight. 
Ethan Vicario. Big heavy foot through the uprights. No goal. So Laborde is going to enter for St. Francis along with Brandon Mount. Taking a breather for your Cougars is number 19, Carson Near. Corner kick coming up for your Cougars. Got a short corner. And now to take the kick will be Vigario. Left footed in swinger coming up for Ethan. Cuellar tracking it down out to touch. Thirteen minutes left here in the first half. This is game number one of our double header MVNU versus USF. Good call on the double header too, especially because it's a four hour drive to Mount Vernon, Ohio from Fort Wayne, Indiana. So we just knock them both out in one day. Saves on expenses, of course. Traveling. Cleland on the ball. Mikey's first step is so quick. Nice ball to MVNU. And a great job by the center back for St. Francis. That is Julian Colantonio. The big man at six foot three. Did a great job of shielding the Ohio Cougar. Keeping him away from Khan. Nice to have a big center back like that. Ball's going to be played all the way back to Miller. As the MVNU regroups, they got two defenders back. Center mids, two center mids. And it's out to touch. In for MVNU's number 21 and number 20. Elijah Savitt, number 20. Ethan Richter, number 21. Slide on this pitch. We have a corner kick coming up. See if we can catch that number. Is that number nine? It is. Outswinger. Kasparic has it taken away. The out to touch to MVNU. 
Number nine for the Ohio Cougars is Connor Davis, who had that last corner kick. Ooh, nice right-footed cross there, picked out of the air. Got another corner kick coming up. This time it's, it's gonna be Richter, well, number nine, Colin, Connor Davis. It's headed away that time by St. Francis. Header, Khan with the diving save. He's been fantastic in this match. Ooh, nice job by Cuellar. Flicking it away from the Ohio defender into space. Cuellar was, took on about half the Mount Vernon Ass team there. Ran out of real estate. As he was walled off by two Ohio Cougars. That was the Dale Foster for St. Francis and Tim Kasparic, MVNU. Saying, crash the goal. Looking for a deflection, none to be had in the sure hands of Braden Khan. See the 2016 national champion window clings there. St. Francis Cougars winning its first ever national championship last year in football, American football. I guess in hindsight, maybe they should have called American football soccer and just kept football, football. Makes sense, it's football. Soccer kind of sounds maybe like a football term. We're approaching five minutes left to play in the first half, nil-nil. Warren Burner taken by Khan. Once Khan gets his hands on the ball, it is magnetic. A 
will be out to touch off Mikey McClellan. Mikey, who is known to rock some cornrows. So that's going to be cleared by St. Francis. It's number 10 for MVNU, Joshua Alexander. We'll give it up to number 19, Aaron Russell. University of St. Francis. The jerseys are actually really, really cool. The way the pattern kind of fades away at the end. It's just that you just can't read those numbers. Big blue numbers on the back. That would be good. Maybe there could be some shine to the numbers or something. Nice slot and pass and a beautiful save by Khan. Bottom right corner. This whole match, once he gets his hands on the ball, it is not getting away from him. And he has been on it. Big deflection, that went off number 20, Elijah Savat. Elijah's gonna just shake it off. Lost his headband there for a second, but he's getting regrouped. Throw-in goes to Julian Colantonio. Got to feel good for Coach Elson to have a sophomore keeper and a freshman center mid stabilize that defense there. They got Sam Schlegel up. Oh no, that's Cole Antonio. Oh, big deflection there. As the clock is stopped at 1.37. It was a big collision down there, but they're stretching out Cole Antonio. Like it could possibly be a cramp. He's back up, ready to rock. One thirty-seven left here in the first half. Getting ready to start the clock. MVNU coach is asking for the ball. Get ready to start this clock. Boom. We're starting.
Mikey and Tito. Left footed. Cross taken by Schlegel. Right footed shot. Ooh, beautiful shot. We got a corner coming up for your Cougs. That's number six for St. Francis. Corner. Header goes wide left. But Lucas Tros Troskos, what a good shot there as Schlegel is able to find him wide right. So we are going to be nil-nil here at Bishop Darcy Stadium. Taking a 15-minute break, so we'll be right back with you folks. Grandpa taught me years ago, do business with people you know and who know you. That's why I joined Fort Financial Credit Union. Their staff knows I'm busy at college. They set me up with a checking account, a debit card, and an auto loan. With the Fort's mobile app, I can check balances, transfer money, and make my car payment. My grandparents loved doing business with the Fort, and I do too. My future, my family, my Fort. Friday night lights. Fort Wayne football from the comfort of your own home or when you're on the go. The same night the pigskin touches the end zone or is stopped dead in its tracks. Ten teams, five games, one website, summitcitysports.com. Live stream high school games, score updates, and news hub for all Fort Wayne area athletics. Find us on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and summitcitysports.com. birthing centers with everything you need for baby plus birth planners expert physicians midwives and more for you i'm a parkview mom you can be too learn more at parkview active science is just the, the overall uh, objective of having um, better physical activity along with uh, 
you know, gaining knowledge and wisdom, it, it aligns with everything I stand for with a uh, clear eye view and having a, um, a, de a determined belief, you know, um, earn dreams and a focused vision. So I got Grace the Magnificent here with me. So we're gonna go through a little activity. What I want you to do is try to get past me, NFL linebacker. You get past me, I'll do 10 jumper jacks. But if I tag you, then you do 10 jumper jacks and then we'll flip it around and see if I can get past you, all right? All right. <laughs> all right. Dude, 42. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Two. Count it out. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. My grandpa taught me years ago do business with people you know and who know you. That's why I joined Fort Financial Credit Union. Their staff knows I'm busy at college. They set me up with a checking account, a debit card, and an auto loan. With the Fort's mobile app, I can check balances, transfer money, and make my car payment. My grandparents loved doing business with the Fort, and I do too. My future, my family, my Fort. birthing centers with everything you need for baby plus birth planners expert physicians midwives and more for you i'm a parkview mom you can be too learn more at parkviewmom.com friday night lights fort wayne football from the comfort of your own home or when you're on the go the same night the pigskin touches the end zone or is stopped dead in its tracks 10 teams five games one website SummitCitySports.com. Live stream high school games, score updates, and news hub for all Fort Wayne area athletics. Find us on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and SummitCitySports.com. How do you design one of the most advanced DRs in the country? At Parkview, we did it by focusing all our attention on you, the patient, by involving doctors and nurses in the design process, by creating quieter, more private spaces, and by leading the region in heart, stroke, and trauma care. This is not your typical emergency room. It's Parkview. In an emergency, isn't this where you'd rather be? Parkview, your partner in health.
the act of science is just the, the overall uh, objective of having um, better physical activity along with, uh, you know, gaining knowledge and wisdom. It, it aligns with everything I stand for with a uh, clear eye view and having a, um, a, de a determined belief, you know, um, earned dreams and a focused vision. So I got Grace the Magnificent here with me. So we're gonna go through a little activity. What I want you to do is try to get past me, NFL linebacker. You get past me, I'll do 10 jumping jacks. But if I tag you, then you do 10 jumping jacks, and then we'll flip it around and see if I can get past you, all right? All right. <laughs> all right. Dude, 42. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Two. Count it out. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. My grandpa taught me years ago, do business with people you know and who know you. That's why I joined Fort Financial Credit Union. Their staff knows I'm busy at college. They set me up with a checking account, a debit card, and an auto loan. With the Fort's mobile app, I can check balances, transfer money, and make my car payment. My grandparents loved doing business with the Fort, and I do too. My future, my family, my Fort. birthing centers with everything you need for baby plus birth planners expert physicians midwives and more for you i'm a parkview mom you can be too learn more at parkviewmom.com friday night lights fort wayne football from the comfort of your own home or when you're on the go the same night the pigskin touches the end zone or is stopped dead in its tracks 10 teams five games one website SummitCitySports.com. Live stream high school games, score updates, and news hub for all Fort Wayne area athletics. Find us on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and SummitCitySports.com. How do you design one of the most advanced DRs in the country? At Parkview, we did it by focusing all our attention on you, the patient, by involving doctors and nurses in the design process, by creating quieter, more private spaces, and by leading the region in heart, stroke, and trauma care. This is not your typical emergency room. It's Parkview. In an emergency, isn't this where you'd rather be? Parkview, your partner in health. Welcome everyone back to the University of St. Francis. We're nil-nil, starting the second half. MVNU and your Cougars. Clock has not started yet. kick coming up for St. Francis will be number eight Ethan Vigario to take the corner. Looks like that was off of number 13 for MVNU, Brandon Mount.
Good clear by MBNU. Putting it back in the box for St. Francis. That was number 28. Twenty eighth, Alex Lowe. Juan Bukram, along with number thirteen in the mix. Mount. Taking the kick is number five, Samuel Demas. Tim Kasparic comes up. Julian Colantonio with the defense for St. Francis. for that right-footed shot was number seven. Brino Nascimento. Khan near post. Coog setting up the wall. Schlegel with his back to the free kick. And that's Tim Kasparic to take the kick. He's the leading goal scorer, one of the top goal scorers in the whole Crossroads League with seven goals in the season. And it's high. Actually, Mount Vernon Naz brought two buses, so not sure how much they saved on expenses. Both Mount Vernon Naz buses, though. Pretty sharp looking. Got the logo on there and everything. Always need to have double headers because whether the women play first or the men play first, you always got somebody cheering for you. If you're the away team. Now MVNU, the women have black jerseys with dark green numbers that are outlined in white. So that should help. Oh, 
Taking the corner for MBNU will be number six, Matt Ralden. In swinger. In the box. Good opportunity there for MBNU, number eight. Number eight is Hunter Petrosky. Khan with another save. Schlegel with the goal, far post. Gives the Cougars the one nil lead. Schlegel's falling off the camera here. What a goal by Sam Schlegel. There he is. Let's check out the replay here. Thirty-four. Thirty-four. Thirty-four on the clock. So 34-34, Sam Schlegel putting the Cougars up 1-0. Outstanding. Last week at this time, Sam was playing center back for the Cougs. This week, he gets the goal, which is goal number three on the season for Sam Schlegel. He now has six points.
On the ball is Nadeo Foster for the Cougars. Yellow card pulled. I believe that was on Juan Bucaram. That'd be his second yellow. No, the first yellow card went against Nadeo Foster. Uh, 33 22 on the clock. In the box. Once again, Sam Schlegel with his third goal on the season. That is, that ties him for second best on the team with Mikey McClellan. Cut back. Ooh, nice nutmeg, looking for the cross. Good persistence there by that defender. And you, Khan, off his line to make the save. once again unofficially it's about the fifth time that Khan's come off his line to stop any offensive threat by MVNU such a good match played by the sophomore keeper If you're going to come off your line, you better make sure you can get your hands on that ball, and Khan has every single time. about that goal by Sam Schlegel. Sam from Fort Wayne, Indiana, Snyder High School. He's a Panther. Snyder High School is the number 2A, excuse me, the number two ranked team in 6A, which is the highest class for football. So they're, they're one of the top teams. Ben Davis High School out of Indianapolis is number one. Shot. I believe that was Tito Cuellar there. Shot going wide left. Cuellar. Out of Warsaw, Indiana. Went to Warsaw Community High School. In Warsaw, they made it to regionals. They're sectional champs. Northrop High School, also sectional champs out of Fort Wayne, Indiana. 
believe Warsaw will be, I think it was Homestead for this, their sectional championship, and that was hosted at Warsaw, which is an absolutely beautiful pitch. Natural surface. The football stadium has an artificial surface. So they got the best of both worlds at that high school. Khan, once again. Braden Khan has been fantastic in this match. We got two really go good goalkeepers here. And that one right there is Adam Miller, the senior keeper. He's from Galena, Ohio. Khan is from Salina, Ohio. So Ohio putting out some good goalkeepers here in this Crossroads League clash. Cougars, not too many shots on goal, but some very good looking shots on goal. One of those resulting in Sam Schlegel's goal. Number nine coming in, that's Connor Davis. We'll check in for number 10, which is Joshua Alexander. Now I take that back. Maybe Alexander's still out there. Maybe nine was in the whole time. It's again, running camera. Trying to bring you some commentary. Camera's most important. Once again, last week, Schlegel was starting at center back. Julian Colantonio. Nice ball into space. Cut back. Lofted, taken by Miller. Tito Cuellar along with Nick Kasia. Have not seen a whole lot out of, out of Tim Kasparic. There's Tim down there. He's got the neon green cleats. Those are pretty sharp, especially with those black uniforms. You get some neon blue cleats for the Cougars, St. Francis. Set to check in for St. Francis will be number 19, Carson Near. Started as a left back. He's at the right back position. Actually, he started at the right back. At 17 with the throw in, Rodrigo Brana. Juan Bukram, scrum with number 20. Elijah Savit. It's gonna be out the touch to MVNU. Right footed shot. That's gonna deflect off Khan. It's about one of the first shots is he, that he hasn't fielded cleanly. As still it went the other direction. Schlegel's out of the match for St. Francis, getting some water. 
after his go-ahead goal. Cross, Khan once again, scooping it up. One of the best venues in the NAIA for viewing a soccer match as you are right on top of the surface. Plenty of seats here at Bishop Darcy Stadium. If you fill all these seats here at Darcy Stadium, you're about five to 6,000 spectators. We were about 70% filled, maybe 80% this past Saturday for the Concordia Ann Arbor football game. CUAA came in ranked number 20 in the country with an undefeated 5-0 record. Cougars winning it. Uh, 38-18, I believe, 34-18. week before that, St. Francis playing at Marion University in Indianapolis, and they brought in extra bleachers, and that place was still elbow to elbow. Anticipate between seven and 8,000 fans at that game. Great rivalry between Marion University and the University of St. Francis, the last two NEIA national champions for football. Cougar down on the pitch. That's number 20 for MVNU. He's been in a lot of scrums. And they're going to stop the clock at 19.55. Down on the pitch, that looks like it is Nadeo Foster. Nadeo and Juan Bukaram have been battling with number 20, Elijah Savit, most of the match. Just some tough crossroads league play here at the University of St. Francis. Crossroads league getting better and better every single year on a national scale. As Spring Arbor University is now ranked Number 19 in the country. 
Their women are ranked number two, I believe. On the women's side, you got UNOH, University of Northwestern Ohio, and Spring Arbor, which are two prominent programs on the women's side playing for a national championship. I believe that was two years ago when Spring Arbor won it. Of course, if you're looking at NC2A Division I, then Indiana University in Bloomington, Indiana, which is about three hours south of Fort Wayne, arguably the most prominent Division I program in NC2A history. I believe it's either Wash U or SLU. I think it's Wash U has more national championships, but they've pretty much been irrelevant since the 70s because that header is going to go wide right. But they picked up a bunch there in the 60s and the 70s. MVNU's had a number of shots from that area, heavy right-footed shots. That one went wide left. Two previous went over the crossbar and through the uprights, but we got a corner kick here as Khan did get a finger on that. Khan! Khan doing a great job of defending his goal there. Mike and McClellan down on the pitch. He's looking for a foul there, but Mikey pretty much ran in front of the other guy and stopped and got knocked to the ground. Still, we got a corner kick coming up. Mikey McClellan to take the corner. Up top for the short corners, Ethan Vigario, but he's going to move away from it. In swinger, a little bit long. Is that all be a goal kick coming up for MVNU? Checking in for St. Francis will be number 23. I think it's 23, Tyler Laborde. Mikey's out, so McClellan and Schlegel now on the bench for the Cougars. Those two are tied for the lead. We're tied for second place for St. Francis with three goals apiece. So number two and number three goal scorers on the bench for the Cougs. Of course, Tito Cuellar does lead St. Francis in goal scored. Cuellar with six goals and four assists, 16 points.
beautiful mirror lake in the background. That'll be the area right there for the new science building and then the new chapels going over there. Science building going under renovations right now. Should be a beautiful thing when they're done. 19's checking out for MBNU. Fourteen fifteen left here in regulation. Cougs up one nil. Rolling around on the pitch, that is number ten, Juan Bukaram. Clock stopped at 13.46. First time all year I've had to turn the heater on up here in the press box. I think it was just two weeks ago we had like 90 degree weather. Ethan Vigario to take the free kick. <laughs> Cuellar looking for some help down there. So it was cleared by MVNU. Savat, Elijah. Up top player for the Ohio Cougars was coming hard at Khan. So he just goes the other way with it. That was Miller with the big boot. Oh, nice feed. Nice deflection. Good defense by the Cougars. Number, number. Not sure if that's Tyler Laborde. Header. Just a bit wide. Tried the corner and missed. Stop the clock at 12.17. MVNU's all over the stoppage of the clock. Four second difference between the game clock and our clock. I believe that was Julian Colantonio there, sticking that big right foot out. Six foot three, he's got long legs. Cross. I believe that was Elijah Savat, number 20, with the cross. 
That's out to touch. Number seven checking in. Brino Nascimento. Clock stopped at 10.35. With throwing, it's Matt Rolden. Roll, Dan. Lady Cougars to take on the Lady Ohio Cougars following this match. We will shut down the broadcast and get up on the Lady Cougars Facebook page. Live on Facebook and YouTube. Mikey McClellan along with number six, Lucas Tricosis to check in for St. Francis. Schlegel remains on the bench. He's got the only goal in this match. Pretty much left the match right after he scored that goal at 34-34, left to play in the first half. Quayar. Left footed shot goes wide left. That was Ethan Vagario for St. Francis. Checking out for St. Francis is uh, number 16, Peyton Smalley. is going to catch up to it first. Just needs to get around one defender, and he's tackled. That was number four for MVNU, Gerardo Rivas. Cuellar definitely with his speed would have been able to turn the corner there. That's over the crossbar by Tito Cuellar. Tito putting on a little bit of muscle here for his sophomore season. Good off season for him. It's all about the off season. Right-footed shot for goal number two. That is Mikey McClellan with the goal for St. Francis as the Cougs go up 2-0. 
Mikey McClellan. MVNU is going to want to get this. Forty-one. Obviously, MVNU wants to get this thing going. Down two nil. Goals by Sam Schlegel and Mikey McClellan. Very similar goals too. As both players were able to slot at far post. What a nice save. Almost an own goal, but Khan was there as well for a second time. Good stuff, Brayden! Khan has been on it all game long. I'm not sure if uh, anybody in the Crossroads League could score on Brayden Khan the way he's playing today's match. Cougars, five minutes away from picking up the dub, up 2-0. USF's last win came on September the 23rd. That was a 5-2 win against Cincinnati Christian. Wow. That time, Khan could not get to that ball. No celebration for MVNU as they're looking to get this play started right back up right away. 437 left and it's two to one. I mean it was off the free kick. Be Mikey McClellan with the throw in. That's the uh, leader in points down there, Tim Kasparic for MVNU. We got a free kick coming up as Sam Schlegel's back in for St. Francis. Taking the kick's gonna be Tyler Laborde. Just missing on the header there with Schlegel and Nadeo Foster, I believe. Uh, Schlegel picks that out of the air nonchalantly. 345 and counting, two to one, St. Francis. Cougars were up two nil before that last goal just about three minutes ago by MVNU. Off the free kick, Khan came off his line this time, skated right past him. Khan's been so good at that all game that you can't really get mad at him.
Definitely the right play for Khan. Just lost the 50-50. Schlegel now playing a center mid position. Schlegel scored goal number one, then sat for about 30 minutes, then put back into the match after MVNU scores a goal. Thirty-five left to play in the match. do it as the Cougars win it 2-1 over MBNU. St. Francis will improve its record to 4-9 on the season, 1-3 in conference play. Mount Vernon Naz will fall to 7-6 overall, 2-2 two two in Crossroads League action. Folks, thanks so much for joining us and tune in for game number two of our doubleheader as the women take the pitch here in about 30 minutes. Drew! Drew! Hold in! Oh,